Um, amplif- amplifiers. What's the role of an amplifier? Now, there's, there's two, t- t- well, there's two types of amplifiers. Let's talk about power amplifiers. Go ahead. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, power amplifiers. The easiest way to think of it is that you are taking a small amount of power out of your transmitter and you are boosting it and getting more power out of the other side of the amplifier. So it's to make your signal increase and to to make yourself louder on the air, I suppose, is I think a good analogy they use. So um, there's a few things with amplifiers. They go after the transmitter and before the antenna and usually they'll go also before the antenna tuner. Uh, the if you're using a manual antenna tuner, the amplifiers uh, have a input rated power that you do not want to exceed. So generally, what that will mean is uh, something in the lines of I think maybe five to ten watts is a is a common one for HF. Uh, you don't want to exceed that, and then the amount of output power that you get out of it that is the the, the amplifier's gain. That is how much. That is how much you are gaining extra. So if you put 10 watts in, you get 100 watts out, then that's a 10 dB gain amplifier because you're getting 10 dB the power. Um, then uh, as far as uh, the other amplifiers that you may come across, not so much if you're setting up your HF station, but if you're certainly setting up a VHF station, uh, a pre-amplifier or a no- Ooh, low pre-amp. noise amplifier. Okay. Yeah, so a, pre- a preamp or a low noise amplifier will be in the receive line that's to boost your received signal and you would use that if you've got a very long coax length run or co- yeah coax run from your antenna to your radio you will lose your received signal so your power amplifier boosts your power to the antenna and overcomes that loss in the in the coax and the other way the preamplifier or the receive amplifier then boosts your your signal um, coming back down. The only caveat is is that you can't have them both in the same line. You have to isolate them because otherwise, if you put power into your into your preamp or your low noise amp, you will blow it up. So, and I have done that before. 